Hi, I'm Wendy from ShinyHappyWorld.com. Up till now, everything that we've been doing has been straight line sewing, straight lines and sharp corners. Today, we're going to branch into the big world of sewing curves. Sewing curves isn't tricky unless those curves get really tight. And that's, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on how to handle those tight curves on the sewing machine. And I'm also going to show you some things that we need to do with the seam allowance after you've sewn your curves so that when you turn your work right side out, everything is beautiful and smooth. Just like when we started with the straight line sewing, I've got a practice sheet of paper for you that's got some lines drawn on it that you'll be able to practice on your machine with no thread in the needle. And this needle is going to get dull from sewing through the paper, so make sure you throw it away after you're done. I've got a gentle curve, a sharp curve, and then a shape, an enclosed shape that has both gentle and sharp curves. I'm going to start out with the gentle curve. Lower your presser foot and then just try and follow that line. And remember, you're not pushing the fabric through, you're just steering the fabric and letting the machine pull it through. And just follow that line as closely as you can. Gentle curves are pretty easy. Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna do the same thing on the sharp curve, and this is where things can get a little bit tricky because it's hard to steer it for a very tight turn. The first thing you want to do is sew very slowly. And you'll notice already I'm kind of running into trouble. What I'm going to do is lower the needle and then I'm going to raise the presser foot and just kind of get this guy going back on course. And now I'm going to keep sewing. And if you start to run into trouble where you just can't turn it fast enough, lower your presser or lower your needle raise the presser foot and turn it until you get it aligned the way you want to be going and just keep going. Sometimes if it's a really tight turn I will stop and do that on just about every stitch. Lower the needle, lift the presser foot and go. One other thing that you'll notice I'm going to shorten my stitch length. That makes my stitches, that's too short, that makes my stitches a lot closer together, which means that it doesn't go through the machine quite as quickly, and it's a little bit easier to adjust to those turns, especially if you sew slowly. See, I didn't have to stop at all on that, and it's because I shortened my stitch length. So those are two tricks for getting around tight turns. One is shortening your stitch length, and the other is to um, stop and turn it by hand every once in a while. The last thing I want you to practice is just following the line on this enclosed shape. It's got some gentle curves and some steep, some sharp curves. Just follow it all the way around, staying on that line as close as you can and go as slowly as you need to to stay on that line. And remember, don't push the paper through. Just steer it gently as it goes. And you're going to want to follow that all the way around. Most of the time when you're sewing, almost all the time when you're sewing, you're going to sew the pieces together inside out, and then you're going to turn them right side out. The problem with doing that with curves is that when you turn this right side out, you're going to have more fabric here than will easily fit into this little space. And on this kind of curve, when you turn this one inside or right side out, this tighter curve is going to have to spread out to fit on this side of that seam. Let me show you what you need to do. On one of these kinds of curves, like the bunny ears, what you want to do is cut little notches out of the fabric. You don't have to do it very often, but if you just give it a little bit of space, very careful not to cut into your stitching line. You want to cut right up to your stitching line but not actually into the stitches. And what you're doing is just giving that a little bit of space so that when you turn it, those will be able to push together inside there. So I've turned this right side out now and I've got a little rounded edge stick that I'm smoothing that with. And since I cut away the excess notches, the notches of the excess fabric, I don't have a ton of fabric getting wadded up and bunched up 
in that curve and then I can press this flat and it'll look very nice and clean and it won't be bunchy in there. We have the opposite problem with this kind of shape. In this kind of shape you don't need to cut any um, notches out, all you need to cut are little slits. So you're going to cut just slits all the way around. You'll call this, you'll see it in pattern directions to clip your curves is what it'll say. And you want again cut it right up to your stitching line but not into it. If it's a gentle curve you only need to cut a, a slit say every inch. You want to get closer together the tighter the curve is. You're also, in addition to clipping that inner curve, you're also going to want to cut away any excess fabric on these sharp curves. Go ahead and cut that away, otherwise it'll tend to bunch up in there. You'll see that in patterns, it's telling you to clip the corners. And now I'm going to turn this right side out. Imagine that this is the neckline of a shirt. So we've got it turned right side out now. And because I clipped those curves, I'm going to open this up so you can see inside. See how those spread open? That's going to allow it to spread open. If you didn't do that clipping, you would just have a really tight bundled up mess in there. So cutting those that seam allowance lets you have a nice smooth curve. And again, you can press that and then it's going to lay beautiful and flat. So those are a few tips on how to sew curved seams. Remember, go as slow as you need to. If you need to go super slow and actually crank the needle down manually and lift the presser foot to adjust it, do it. I do it sometimes every single stitch. You can also shorten your stitch length so that your material is being pulled more slowly through the fabric. Remember, after you're done sewing those seams, you're not quite done yet. When you sew curved seams, there's one more step you have to remember to do. If you're sewing a con vex curve, like imagine the rounded end of a bunny ear, you have to cut notches out of that seam allowance on the outside of that curve. If you're sewing a concave curve, like the neckline of a shirt or a dress, you need to just cut some slits in there so that that seam allowance can spread out and fit in that wider space that it's going into. So that's Sewing Curves. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World. See you next week.